Let's take a cat. Welcome to Hotlanta. <laughs> <laughs> No, did it not take? No, it took it. Okay, great. I'll be there. This gives me goosebumps, and I can't explain why. It's very cool. I did. I got a I got a pair of So light and so thin. And like no machinery in the world. Right. Who did this? This guy. What's your name? Yeah. Will Stelter. I'm John Grimsmo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, it probably has like 60, 70 hours into it. Okay. 35 hours into the steel alone. Right. And the other two bars are 15 feathers of steel stacked laterally. And I had it in like an inch by an inch by two inches bar, and I crushed it the wrong way. Oh. oh. And I was about 20 hours in at that point. So, I. Almost, I was I was at my mentor's shop and I almost just like lost it and like broke a bunch of stuff, but I didn't. Same, actually, same thing with this Bowie. So I had finished the blade and I had drilled the pinhole for the handle, um, and I I had taken the edge down to about ten thou or so, and uh, <laughs> and I chopped wood with it and I like tore the edge open. Is this all these pen marks? Is that from this pen? It's from that. What have you done, John? <laughs> You're destroying my trousers. Yeah. They were so clean and neat. Just perfect. No, I, I'm enjoying the pen though. Yes, I love it. I, I, love I, it. I bought one of John's pens, which you should buy also. Yes. So, so for those five of you out there who don't know, Alex Steele, black, what are you, blacksmith, YouTube, uh, Instagram star. I don't know about that. Super and, uh, excited. Yep. Having lots of fun at Blade. Lots of people. This is your first Blade Show. First ever blade what do you show. think of Blade Show? It's gigantic. I've yeah. seen about a percent of uh, it. You won't and see I've the been whole walking thing. walking all day. Yeah, you will not see the whole yeah. thing, but, dude. Oh, no, it's great. It's a lot of fun, and it's awesome seeing your booth and seeing the stuff that you're making and, uh, and seeing you in person. Yeah. You know, I listen to the Business and Machining podcast. That's awesome. And, and so it's, it's, it's great seeing you in person. Yeah. You guys should listen to it, too. Cool, dude. Hell yeah. So, is there anything in specific you want to see? here at the show you want to learn you want to meet like certain people so I'm, I'm really excited by seeing a lot of like the master smith like the abs work right. you know like what are the master smiths are putting out yeah, yeah and so seeing you know the tables in that direction where they've got their quillian daggers and their buoys honestly I, I never get to see that kind of stuff you, you should it's a different world i know it's and a whole it's, different it's, world it's completely different to the stuff that you guys right. do and i i find that fascinating because like the the level of detail and handcraft in right. there is super exactly. interesting and it appeals to me with the things that I'm trying to learn and in what I do, so it's, it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. It's, it's really funny because in some ways we're like opposites. I'm all about CNC machining and manufacturing and advanced and robots and cool stuff. And you're like hammers and sparks yeah. and forges and yep. fire. And it's awesome though. I, I super admire what you do. Like the, but it's, it's, the, the, it's, it's all in the same direction. It is. It? It's all about making sharp and pointy things. Yep. As having good fun. as you can. Having fun making things. You yep. know, improving and constantly, constantly yep. refining it. So it's, it's like everybody has cut from the same cloth. Exactly, right? Like you said something in one of your latest videos where you're touring the British Museum. I texted you about yep. this. Yep. And you're like, seeing all these thousand year old knives and 500 year old, and like the attention to detail that they put into it. What did you say? Like, I, I have to do my absolute best to do justice to these kind of guys. Yeah, I, I think so. And I think that it's. What, it, it, it was that when I see the work that they're doing, and I know that they're human, and I know that they have, you know, equipment that's far below the amount of well, equipment like that I have. Hundreds of quality. years ago, like, like yeah, it, they're, they're, they're so far in the past producing work, so ahead of what I do. Even the sharing of knowledge, like right now, we can Google and talk to anybody yeah. and learn anything. And it's like for me to not make something to the standard that I can, if I'm yeah. determined enough, if I'm disciplined enough, like if I if I don't. If I don't put in everything that I've got to make something, I'm making a mockery of everything that's come before me. Yeah. And frankly, I do make a mockery of everything that's come before me every single <laughs> but day. But you try. But you know, I'm trying. And, and you're aware of that. Absolutely. And yeah, I love Absolutely. it. I love and it's it. It's like, and it's a great inspiration to see. Just like now, you know, I look at the Master Smith's work. It blows my mind the level of detail they're able to achieve. And like, you see that, and you think, okay, well, when I get into my workshop, there's a standard that's out there in the world, yes. and the only excuse that I'll ever have for not reaching that standard is because I'm lazy yeah. and I didn't do a good enough job of making it good enough. I mean, that's, that's all it is yeah. at the end of the day, right? It's so inspiring to come here and to meet everybody and to see, like, I, I see some knives now that I've never even conceptually thought of before. Yeah. And it's like, I didn't even know that existed in the world. I didn't know I could do that. And then you, you know, 
you learn. I've been coming to this show for seven years now. Every time you learn something new, and every time you're like blown away. I bet, I bet. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's great being out here. I love it's it. Fantastic dude. meeting you, man. Thank you so much. So much fun. All right. Here with Mike Hogarty from Revolve Makers. Show me some of your stuff, dude. So this is our new collab with D-Rocket from D-Rocket Designs. It's an out the front with a cam mechanism, and it's been laser etched, dude. titanium body. Look at that thing. We're gonna have deep pocket carry clips, a bunch of different blade designs. Oh, that's the clip. Yep. And uh, the clip was gonna be, I'm gonna have a couple different variants of it, spring-loaded with a detent. This is yeah. just a prototype. Right. And then uh, you wanna show this? Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> right while he's taking a picture. Oh, sorry. This was our uh, Bathgate collab, the Netsuke. Dude. It has an iris mechanism. Yes. And That's we're going to so be awesome. uh, releasing something new in uh, a couple of weeks here. And you're going to be you're going to be at IMTS. We're going to be at IMTS. You can go to um, meet at IMTS, and um, there's going to be an official page. We're going to have a meetup Wednesday afternoon where you can go. And you can get some refreshments. You can meet some other entrepreneurs. Yeah. You can talk to people. So the smaller shops who've never been before, we encourage you to come out, learn about the new technology, talk to guys like John yeah. and myself, and we can help you to really raise the game. Yeah, I mean, that's why I love going to those events too, because I love manufacturing and what we do. Like knife making is manufacturing. And a lot of people think it's just knife making, but yeah, there's, there's so much technology out there that the more you know, the more you know, right? So check us out. We'd love to have you. And if you're at IMTS, make sure you come by the meetup and we'll feed you. Cool. Uh, this is probably one of my most intricate and just extremely uh, complicated Damascus patterns I've made. It could, be, it could get a new home, but surprisingly enough, this one's still available. So, yeah, but no Here's worries the there. Sold a bunch of them. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Joe. this for product development? No, I'm just documenting this guy. <laughs> Using your pen. Yeah. <laughs> and in the right corner we have Alex Steele representing yeah, England. <laughs> and in the left corner, I don't know. Oh yes, we can. No, 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 no. No bracing on the object. No bracing. Use that elbow grease. I wish this was my arm. It's not, it's not my arm. You can't just start like that. Yeah, you can. No, no, no. You've got to start with your hands straight. Okay. Let's, let's have, you have much longer elbows. We put money down. I mean, maybe I haven't seen a lot of knives, but this this makes my heart skip. The Thank you. Two asunder? Yeah, those two bars. Non-stainless, you said. Non-stainless. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Just like, I don't have anything else better to do, let me just make stuff. It's, he's amazing. I, 
He's amazing. Nice. What's up, bro? How are you? It's, it's What's your pleasure. name? Yeah. Great to meet you, Adam. No, no. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've met like 10 people from um, Forge and Fire. Yep. And like, I haven't met no one more Night still doesn't come here. Not Night of Sword. Yep. Wrap up Blade Show 2018, bro. Outstanding, learned so much, so many amazing makers, so many amazing people, just outstanding. It's fun, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you learn people, anything? I learned a huge amount, especially ABS section, you know, because I like the forging stuff. Yeah, I like the Damascus ABS section, so all the forged daggers, the forged buoys. Amazing, amazing to see where the standard is, you know? Yeah. Like it sets Love the bar it. high, sets the bar high. Good, it's Amazing. glad you came. Absolutely. All right. Thanks guys for watching Blade Show 2018. It was an amazing event. We're blown away. Later guys, bye.